Consider your potential audience when you're selecting your journal and your topic. Again, as I mentioned, it must be written at the level for that intended audience. So if you're writing for educators, that has to be at their level. Assume they're most are experienced in education. If you're writing for a staff nurse audience, it would be a different kind of paper than writing for a nurse practitioner audience. So think carefully about your audience and be sure your paper is written at an appropriate level. You might want to consult colleagues who represent your target audience. What would they want to know? What would they want to hear? What do they already know that you don't need to write about? So have a chat with your intended audience, people who represent that intended audience, and get some guidance from those colleagues. A journal article can only have one primary audience. So let's suppose, for example, that you want to write to providers in the pre-hospital setting. That is your primary target audience. Your paper is written for that audience and that audience alone. Now, if a secondary audience can benefit from that topic, great. But don't try to also write for the nurse in the emergency department who's receiving that patient. If your primary audience is the pre-hospital provider, then stick with the pre-hospital provider as you write the paper. If others want to read your paper, let them glean from it what they can, but stick to your topic, to your primary audience.